Hello student, I'm Mr. Leung. So in this video, we are going to talk about the uh, calculation skills uh, for the chapter 10, transpiration. And the focus will be in the weight potometer. So before we talk about the potometer, let's uh, have a very quick revision about the transpiration. So remember that uh, from the definition of the transpiration, there are three elements. Uh, the first element is the loss of water vapor, which is in gaseous state. And then from the plant surfaces, okay, so you can see that the water loss uh, should uh, take place okay, on the plant surface, mainly uh, in the leaves, okay, in the stomata. And of course, the water loss will also uh, take place in the stem and also in the root, because for the root, uh, there is no cuticle, and that's why there is no uh, the waterproofing layer okay, to prevent the water to go away as well. So that's why from the plant surface, but mainly in the leaves. Okay, and this uh, diagram is uh, extracted from the textbook, so perhaps you can uh, take a look at it. And then for the second very quick revision is about the weight potometer. So remember that uh, as what I say is a uh, weight potometer is a very powerful apparatus okay, for us to investigate the transpiration uh, because they can give us free set of data. And for the first set of data, we take a look at the water level, the change of the water level in the pruret, okay? So the drop in the water level in the pruret is due to the water uptake by the leafy shoot. So you can see that in the setup, once the leafy shoot, they absorb some water in the jar. There will be some space in the jar and then the water in the pruret, they will go down and fill up the space. So that's why the drop in the water level, it represents the water uptake by the leafy shoot. So that's why we can calculate the amount of water uptake by uh, V1 minus V2. And if we uh, uh, divide this number by time, so that will be the rate of water uptake. V1 minus V2 over time, it will be the rate of water uptake okay, in the unit of uh, cm cube per hour. And then for the balance, we take a look at the balance, okay? And the concept is that the drop in the weight of the whole setup is due to the loss of water by transpiration. So that's why you can see that for the whole setup, we have the glassware, the jar, the pruret, okay? Or some rubber rubber uh, things, okay? And also for the plant. And of course, we assume that there is no net change of the leafy shoot. So that's why uh, we only direct, okay? the water loss of the whole setup so that's why we can calculate okay by using the data the uh, drop of the uh, uh, weight okay so you can see that the uh, w1 minus w2 that will be the amount of water loss and divided by time it will be the rate of water loss okay gram per hour so that's why that's a very quick idea okay quick revision of the first two data and the third data is talking about the water retention. Retention, that means the water is kept in the plant. So remember the simple metaphor, what I talked about uh, in the class, okay? The water uptake is just like your income, okay? And the water loss is just like your expenditure. So that's why the water, re water retention is just like your saving. So the simple metaphor is that I use your income to minus your expenditure, that will be your saving. And in the same case is that I use the water uptake minus your water loss, and it will be your water retention in the plant. So that's why we can calculate the water retain, uh, what what uh, water retained in the plant, or the rate of the water retention by the plant. The same the same idea. Okay. So you can see that we use the water uptake minus the water loss and divided by time that will be the rate of water retention and if we ignore the time okay we only talk about the water uptake minus the water loss it will be the amount of water retained by the plant so you can see that the waste potometer can give us free set of data and then we take a look at the exercise that will be a very typical uh, 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 example okay of the waste potometer so for the experiment, okay, it's talking about the setup is just like this. We put the leafy shoot in a jar full of water, and then we have the pruret, okay, and then we have the water uh, oil layer uh, uh, on the water surface, and then uh, on the bottom we have the balance. 
and in this experiment we have two parts and for the first part okay we uh, have the leafy shoot okay without any treatment okay we put it in the waste protometer and leave uh, undisturbed for four hours okay so remember that once we need to calculate the rate we need to be very very careful or right? beware of the time right four hours and then later on the decreases in the readings of the balance and the uh, uh, decrease uh, of the water level in the pre-red okay will be record so you can see that okay it, it, it absolutely makes sense the uh, leafy shoot okay they will lose water and then try and generate the transpiration pool and then absorb water okay so you can see that uh, the balance okay and also the water level okay the waste and the water level they will also decrease and then for the second part is that uh, we also have the leafy shoot but in this case the upper size of the all leaves of the leafy shoot was smeared with the vaseline it can reduce or even prevent the water loss okay from the uh, leaf surface okay because they can block the stomata okay and then the water vapor the water vapor cannot go out easily so that's why we smear the vaseline on the upper side of the olives of the leafy shoot and then also put the whole setup for four hours and then also record the data and then we have such data okay we have the table okay to show you to show that for the first setup no any treatment okay the water loss okay decrease in the reading of the balance okay the water loss okay 15 grams and then the water uptake uh, the decrease in the reading of the pre 20 cm cube and then for the uh, second setup okay upper size of the leaves smear with vaseline so you can see that the water loss okay 13 grams and then the water uptake will be 16 cm cube so that's the basic idea and remember the remarks okay the mass of one cm cube of water is equal to one gram of water so you can see that the unit actually they can be interchangeable okay one cm cube of water is equal to one gram of water okay for the water loss for, for the water uptake okay and one thing i would like to remind you is that for the second setup upper size of the leaf of the leaves smeared with the vaseline what does it mean it means that since the upper size of the leaves are smeared with the vaseline therefore this setup only shows you the water loss from the lower size of the leaves so think about it all the upper size of the leaves are smeared with the waterproof of the vaseline so that's why there will be no water loss on the upper surface and that's why the water loss should take place on the lower size of the leaves okay so that's the second setup okay means so let's start the calculation part okay uh, you, you see that this video is talking about the calculation so we start for the level one question for the level one question is talking about the no treatment setup okay the average rate of the water loss from the leaves was water so you can take a look at the low treatment and then water loss that means the green one decrease in the reading of the balance that will be 15 okay 15 grams will be the amount of water loss but if I want to calculate the rate of water loss, that will be over time divided by the time, four hours. Remember the whole setup, okay? Uh, I, I, I let it uh, to carry out the experiment uh, for four hours. So that's why the answer will be 3.75 grams per hour, okay? Question one. And then for the question two, the average rate of water absorption that means water uptake uh, so you can see that no treatment okay and then the decrease in the reading of the pre 20 cm cube okay so that's why for the 20 cm cube it will be the amount of water uptake so in question three is talking about the average rate of water retention by the untreated leafy shoot uh, so you can see that the water retention recall the uh, metaphor Water uptake is your income. Water loss is your expenditure. And now I want to know your savings. So that will be water uptake minus water loss. Okay, 20 minus 15. That will be the amount of water retention of the untreated leafy shoot. Okay, and of course it will be 5 cm cube. But I would like to know the rate of water retention. That's, that's why 5 divided by 4 hours. Okay, so that's why it will be 1.25 cm cube per hour or 1.25 gram per hour. So you can see that there, why, there, why are there two 
answers because the unit of the uh, 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 the the mass okay of the water okay one cm cube of uh of water okay it will be one gram okay so that's why you can see that the unit is interchangeable okay so that's question three Question two, I would like to calculate for the questions of setup two. Upper size of the leaves smeared with the Vaseline. So you can see that the average rate of water loss from the lower size of the leaves, okay, was, so you can take a look at the table, okay, so water loss, the green one, okay, and then we take a look uh, at the setup two, it will be 13, okay, the amount will be 30 grams, okay, uh, uh, of water loss, okay from the lower size of the leaves and then we would like to calculate the rate so that will be 13 over 4 hours okay and the answer will be 3.25 cm cube per hour you may ask no mr Leung, the unit should be gram right yes the unit can be uh, can be gram but what you what you are my mentioned before is that uh, 1 cm cube of water is equal to 1 gram of water. So that's why you can see that, okay, the unit is interchangeable. So that's, that's why I intentionally put it 3.25 cm cube per hour because it's still correct. And for the question 5, for the question 5, water uptake, okay. So for the water absorption, okay, so it will be 16. Okay, the amount of water uptake it will be 16, but I would like to calculate the rate. So that's why 16 divided by 4 hours. Okay, so that's why it will be 4 gram per hour. And then also the same idea. No, Mr. Leung, it should be 4 cm cube per hour. Uh, yes, you're correct, but you, you remember that the unit, okay, it can be interchangeable. So that's why 4 grams per hour is equal to 4 cm cube per hour. Now, because we are talking about water, okay? So that's why 4 gram of water is also equal to 4 cm cube of water. So the rate, okay, also the same idea. 4 gram per hour or 4 cm cube per hour. And then for question 6, the average rate of water retention by the treated leafy shoot. So you can see that uh, we have two data. Water uptake, 16 uh, cm cube, and then water loss, 13 grams. Okay, and then if I would like to know the amount of water retention, it will be 16 minus 13 cm cube, or 16 minus 13 grams is also correct. Okay, so that's why water uptake minus water loss, okay, 16 minus 13, and I would like to calculate the rate, so that's why it would be 3 over 4, okay, uh, 0.75 cm cube per hour, or 0.75 gram per hour the same idea okay so that's why question one two three four uh five six okay is talking about the general idea general calculation okay so and then let's take a look at level three so for the level three we need to use the whole table okay we need to compare the setup one and setup two why because question seven is talking about i would like to calculate the average rate of water loss from the upper size of the leaves okay so you may ask mm, mr Leung, so in the set of what you say is that uh, especially for set up to the upper size of the leaves was smeared with the vaseline so that's why it's a bit difficult to calculate the water loss from upper size of the leaves is the question wrong no because what i tell you is that from the second set up upper size of the leaves smeared with the vaseline it means that the leafy shoot okay the water loss will only take place from the lower size of the leaves. The general idea is that how can we calculate the uh, water loss from the upper size? The idea is that we use the number, okay, the amount of water loss from both surfaces of the leaf minus the water loss of lower size of the leaves. It will be the water loss from the upper size of the leaves repeated concept okay i have the data of the water loss from both surfaces and then i use this data to minus the water loss from the lower surface of the leaves and then it will be the upper size of the leaves the water loss from the upper size 
So that's why we have the data 15 minus 13. The answer should be 2 grams, right? The amount of water loss. And then I would like to calculate the rate. So it will be 2 over 4. 2 over 4 will be 0.5 grams per hour or 0.5 cm cube per hour. So remember that the units, they are interchangeable, right? Okay. So that's why for the question 7. So uh, I would like to talk about why I uh, want to make this video because in our final term exam, some students they say that uh, the calculation in biology is so difficult, Mr. Learn. So that's why I make this video and then show you step by step. And then you can see that actually we use only uh, the, the, the subtraction, okay? And then also the division, okay? Uh, uh, A minus B and then divided by C. This, that's the very simple mathematics, okay? The key idea, the key skill is that you need to be able to find the figures, okay, which is, is suitable for you to do the question, okay? So uh, after I talk about questions one to seven, so it's your turn to do a question for me. So I will show you a very typical experiment of waste potometer. So in this waste potometer, we have two data. The first data is talking about the balance. Initial weight of the whole setup, okay, is uh, 450 grams. And the final weight will be 445 grams. And then for the pre-rest, that means the graduated glass tube, okay. So we see the readings, okay, the initial reading will be 20 cm cube. And the final readings, uh, that means the water level, okay, it decreases, right, okay. And then the final reading is 14.5 cm cube. And then the very simple uh, reminder, okay, the density of the water is 1 gram per cm cube. That means 1 gram water is equal to 1 cm cube water. Okay, and then the whole experiment, okay, the duration is two hours because I want you to calculate the rate for me. So that's why you need to know the time of the whole experiment, right? And then there are, will be five questions, okay? How much water did the leafy shoots lose, okay? The amount of water loss. Second question, the amount of water uptake. The third question, the rate of water loss. The fourth question, the rate of water absorption, water uptake. And the fifth question, the amount of water retention in the leafy shoot during the experiment, okay? So you have questions one, two, three, four, five, okay? So you can find the Google form uh, in the dis uh, description downwards, okay? So you can take a look, okay? And then click it in and then do all the questions and then you will know uh, how many questions, okay, did you got correct, okay? And then there will be two more extended questions about the, bo uh, about the weight potometer, okay? For your reference, so enjoy. So the next video, okay, we are going to talk about the bubble potometer and then what about I add a balance, okay, under the bubble potometer and then it will be changed to the waste potometer, okay? So uh, if you have any questions, so please leave it below. I will answer you as soon as possible and do the quiz. Check your concept, okay? See you next time. Bye-bye.